like I'm losing my roof. Where'd my roof go? Here it is guys, a 1972 Chevy Impala convertible. I don't know if you guys know about this paint job. Back in the day, some call it bowling ball, some call it marble paint job. So yeah, this car is from back in the day. So it's been done for a while. And it's showing its age already. Even got the one piece 26 inch wheels. Milani, I remember all about this back in the day. I don't know if you guys remember that brand. But yeah, 26 inch wheel with a big tire. That's how they used to ride back in the day. Got 400 badge. Not sure if it has a 400 motor. The Impala badge. that squat going on I noticed that the rear end has been reinforced and it's converted to disc brakes so check out the suspension guys got an anti-roll bar so the underneath looks of the car been undercoated quarter on this side don't look bad Okay, bad enough customs. If you gotta know who that is, go check them out on YouTube. They do killer suspension. And now we come to the bad side, guys. This is the driver's side. And it looks like from having these big tires, it caught the inner of the quarter right here and it did some damage, but. something that needs to be worked on to be pulled out and worked so that is bad on this car it's almost that time guys weather's breaking it feels great outside got a dense cuff right here too yeah guys and a dent on the hood right there you guys can see you know people want to step on their hoods and flex well that's what that's the aftermath people getting on the hood you guys put a dent got a billy grill upper and lower remember back in the day they used to chrome out all the front end the nose and stuff it looked pretty nice kind of fade now you know as uh car game changes so yeah let's go check out the interior black with red piping oh check out the door locks guys yeah got diamonds Pretty cool I believe the air cap got diamonds too where are they? Yep. See? Diamonds. I know guys, they're not real. Oh, well, here's the door. Even doors are painted. He had a lot of switch, so 
So I put this one and this one seems like it's working. So I haven't put it back. That's pretty annoying. Here we go. Show you guys the rockers. Feels like still solid. And we got a power bench seat. I don't know if it works. Oh, it works. That's pretty cool. Gotta have one of these. Gotta have the power bench seat. That's just my preference. Steam wheel and parlor. Horn works. There goes the mileage for those that like to ask. Got some aftermarket gauges. Aftermarket radio, Pioneer. Dash that shows some cracks. Oh, what we got here a tweeter. It's missing the sun visors. Got some speakers there. This one's missing the switch, but there are some switches in the glove box. Guys, the passenger side. Hello. More diamonds. Yep, missing switch. The extra ones are in the glove box. does have the switch on. The interior is not bad of shape. Mainly is the dash, got some crack going on. Missing a vent. But usually people put the chrome one aftermarket, they just look better. Um, there's some switches right there. And I don't know what else. Like the hood latches broke right there. Right, let's go show you guys under the the hood. I'll show you guys underneath as well. This is the passenger side. Looks like it's got three inch exhaust all the way back. Actually sounds nice. So the passenger does have a hole, so it, it is going to need a floor pan on the driver's side. The red don't look bad. Let's see if we can pop the trunk. Okay. Quarters. Driver's side. That's nah, the passenger side. I did notice there was a small one underneath here that they patched. So yeah, they patched that right there. I think the, the rest seems pretty solid. Here's the motor. Got some nice chrome aftermarket parts. Look that we got Airbrock chrome kit. Got the MSD ignition box right here. Coil over there in the back. 
notice that they put an electric fan as well. Hmm. Pretty nice. So I'm not sure this is a 350 or 400. I know the fender says 400 or 305, who knows? But don't look bad. Let's see if it fires up. Oh, the battery is pretty low. guys are interested contact me on instagram mr 75 caprice and for those that don't have instagram y'all can email me through here on youtube and we can figure out how to get in, uh, in contact with each other but yeah guys this one won't last it is priced according to what it is so let me know guys thanks for watching <laughs>